All right, thank you very much uh, for coming back with us. Uh, now the excitement and anticipation continues to build ahead of Thursday's kickoff to the Copa America tournament. And when we say Thursday, we mean tomorrow. That's what it means. We'll have live matches, match day previews, breaking news from the tournament. We'll have everything. And of course, CVM TV will be your Copa Central. Today, though, we'll preview Group C. We have already done Group A and Group B. And that group involves the CONCACAF pair of the United States and Panama. They'll be joined by 15-time Copa champions Uruguay, as well as Bolivia. And joining us online to preview that group is former reggae girl, now football analyst, Sharona Forrester. Welcome, Sharona. How you do? All right. Thank you for having me, Orville. All right. So let me ask you, what are your expectations for Copa on a whole and then this particular group, Group B? So I'm very excited. I think it will be a very competitive tournament. Uh, we have some of the best teams from South America and, of course, guest teams from uh, CONCACAF. Uh, the 10 teams from Commebol, six teams from CONCACAF. Uh, six of those teams would have been in the 2022 World Cup. So we're expecting some memorable moments and performances. And, of course, the quality of the football should be exceptionally high. All right, the big team in this group, um, U.S., uh, Uruguay, Panama, Bolivia. The big team, of course, would be Uruguay. Uruguay are ranked uh, in the top 15 in world football. They have some big baller, Valverde, Luis Suarez, and them kind of names. Um, is it a done deal that Uruguay will top the group? Well, it, that is that's possible because we know the history um, of Uruguay. They have it strong presence. As you said, they're 15-time title winners, the exact same amount as Argentina. So we do expect them to be a formidable opponent. Um, behind them might be a little bit more of the challenge uh, in terms of the second phase for this group because we know that USA have put in a lot of infrastructure to improve their football for the men. And we know as well Panama is also doing very well and they would probably be considered as the underdog um, for Group C. So it would be very interesting to see the two groups that will come um, on top. All right, so yeah, Uruguay should be the team, I think, um, and I think most pundits will agree. How can I talk about this Uruguay team without talking about Darwin Nunes? Look out for him. The USA, though, um, they are playing at home. They are considered one of the teams that within the CONCACAF region um, go on with a bag of things. They are one of the, I think, top, 15 team in the world as well. How do you expect them to do on home soil for this Copa tournament? Well, I believe that with the, uh, the domestic strength of their uh, MLS league and the introduction of the youth players in the senior team, that we're supposed to see them do exceptionally well. Um, it won't be a walk in the park um, because, of course, Panama will be gunning for that second spot. Um, you know that the South Americans have this sense of pride when it comes on football. So that's one other thing about the Copa. It's not very predictable uh, as, we, as history would have taught us. All right. So, yeah, that USA team, look out for people like Christian Pulisic, um, Weston McKinney, Gio Reyna. So there are some good names in the U.S. team that we can look out for. Who's the other one? So we've done Uruguay and done the USA. On paper, the two top teams in this group. But let's look at Panama. Panama reached the Gold Cup uh, final the last time around, beaten by Mexico in that, in that final. How do you expect the Panamanian team to feature in Group B of this um, Copa America tournament? Well, they're in Group C, and I'm telling you, they are going to come uh, with a vengeance. Um, as as the, the, the tournament unfolds, you realize that each tournament should be given its own merit. Yeah. So there is no guarantee for performance based on your last performance. Uh, uh, as we say in football, the ball is round. Uh, we use historic uh, for analysis. But when people come on their, you know, they're saying that this is a, the only regional uh, competition standing um, currently, they have a sense of pride that I know that Group C will be very competitive, especially between the USA, uh, Uruguay, and Panama. I would, I'm going to call them the underdog of Group C, 
and I'm expecting to see very good things from them. All right, we have a minute before we have to run. The, the, the team with the least likely to advance, let, let's put it that way, are the Bolivians. They've lost 11 of the last 14 games played. Um, a very young team, I think more than 10 of the players have played less than 10 games. So Bolivia are not expected to feature too heavily in this group. But I'll leave the last word to you. Can the Bolivian team surprise and escape from, from this group C? Well, I'm not seeing that currently. I, I don't see them um, escaping from the group round. Uh, one thing I would like to share, though, is that, you know, we would think that Argentina, um, in terms of who will take it, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting for me to see how Argentina and Uruguay um, pair in this competition since Argentina are the reigning World Cup champions okay. and their long-standing rival with Uruguay. So I'm very interested to see how this competition unfolds. All right, Sharona, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. And uh, that's all the time we have in the Copa Kickstart zone. Don't go anywhere though. More sunrise right after the break. <laughs>